We all seen those mind-blowing AI-generated images floating around the internet, right? Well, if you've ever wondered how to create your own, today's your lucky day. I am Daniel. Welcome to my channel where I make smart tutorials. In this video, we're diving into a super powerful AI tool called Crea AI. It lets you generate amazing images, create videos, and even edit photos, all with the help of artificial intelligence. I'm going to walk you through its key features and we'll even play around with some real-time demos to see just how powerful and fun this platform can be. Also, I've left all the useful links in the description down below, so don't forget to check them out. So, let's get started and see how Cray AI can help you bring your ideas to life. Cray AI Tutorial Today, we are going to explore image generators using a powerful service called Cray AI. It offers multiple generative models and a robust knowledge base that will help you become more familiar with how to work with this service. I'll quickly highlight its main features in a nutshell. Obviously, first is image generation. Crea AI also allows you to create videos and generate images in real time. We'll take a closer look at how this works. You can enhance and upscale photos. There are also several mini-apps for generating logos or patterns. Last but not least, there's the new Canvas project. It works like an image editor, similar to Photoshop. Let me walk you through all of these features. The first in the line is the image generation. The tool offers several AI models to choose from. You can start with the basic Flux model, which we'll try to use now. There are also Flux 1.1 Pro and 1.1 Pro Ultra, which offer more processing power. The last two available options are the versions of Ideogram 2.0 and 2.0 Turbo. Feel free to experiment with each model to see which works best for your needs. Let's come up with a prompt that we'll use in this demo. While you can use a random prompt generator, we'll create a custom one. The settings offer square images by default, but you can also choose other aspect ratios, like 4.3, widescreen, or portrait mode for mobile phones. So, guys, here we see how Flux AI has handled our prompt. I specifically included a plate number, and as you can see, it isn't perfectly rendered in every image. In general, the number appears correctly in three out of the four generated images. The service also has built-in style presets you can use. Let's take this style. Using this resize arrow, you can adjust how strongly it affects your final image. Here is the stylized generation that Crea AI offered us. We can reduce the intensity. Overall, we see that the look remains fairly consistent. In one of the generated images, the registration number shows up on the side. That was the Flux model. Let's try using the same prompt with Ideogram instead. The generation time is longer with this model, but it gives us two images at once. You can also adjust the image size here. And as you can see, there's a progress bar showing the generation process. Here are the two generated images we've got. The number is almost correct, though we might want to remove the spaces from the prompt. Looking at how Ideogram interpreted our description, let's try stepping it up by switching to Ideogram Turbo and see if we get better results. Turbo generation took about as much time, but as we can see here, correcting the prompt and removing gaps actually helped, and the plate is generated correctly. Now let's test Flux 1.1 Pro. Here are the results we've got. Notice that Flux has again displayed the number on the door, just like in our previous attempts. We'll also try out the Flux 1.1 Pro Ultra. The result looks pretty realistic, but Flux still places the number on the door. 
I am going to download some of our generated images and move on to the next Crea AI tools. Mini apps. Here we can create a logo. We can see several generations available. For example, we can use the Apple logo or upload our own. Then we need to specify a prompt or choose a random one. Let's try generating a logo now. We can see how the Apple logo is embedded into the landscape. You can use this slider to generate a more realistic display of the logo. Let's take a look, guys. This is how Crea AI interpreted it. There's also a great tool called AI Patterns, which lets you choose a pattern. It's basically similar to working with a logo. For example, you can select a mask like this or upload your own. I'll select this one and specify I want to see it as a tree. There are also custom settings here that let you increase how much your prompt affects the result. Wow, here we can see it as a tree shaped as the template. You can also use a negative prompt specifying what you don't want to see in the result. This is a pretty standard practice. You can adjust the number of steps in the generation process, but this won't significantly affect the final result. Additionally, you can use your own seed for generation. Guys, let me take a little break to ask you to like this video and subscribe to my channel. It's absolutely free, but helps me make even more fun tutorials for you. Thanks. The next feature that will help us generate images is real-time generation. It lets you use this canvas along with drawing to generate images. For example, I'll remove what was generated by the AI. Then let's change the background a bit. I set the canvas background to white. Now I'm going to use a brush to draw a tree. Now let's use the same car prompt we used before. Here's our tree. We can, for example, add more branches. Using the AI Strength slider, we can also adjust the realism of the picture. For example, we can type photo in the prompt. But as you can see, the registration number isn't displayed accurately here. Or rather, it's not displayed at all. If we don't like the position of the car, it's easy to generate a new image right here. I'll remove what's unnecessary, and you can adjust the prompt for this new image. So, I am typing here that we need a black Volkswagen. And we get several variations. For example, I like this option, the way it's positioned. Now I'm removing the background and placing the car where we want it, next to the tree. Now we can see that the car is generated exactly the way we want it. Again, with this slider, you can adjust the realism of the generation. You can also draw a person here or add an image which will affect the canvas. I think you get the idea. You can also apply a style to the generation. Like this cartoonish style. As you can see, it looks pretty good. So that's what real-time generation is all about. Here you can view everything we have generated. The next feature is called Enhance. And it allows you to improve your own photos. For example, I'll upload my photo. And here I can choose settings for how I want to enhance it. 
like doubling, quadrupling, or even increasing its resolution 8 times, applying upscaling, or adding a prompt to make it more diverse. Let's try this feature. Wait for the enhancing process. And now we can see how this AI tool improves a low quality photo. As you can see, the prompt generated here is similar to the photo we uploaded. Crea AI analyzed the image and created a prompt based on it. You can also increase the weirdness or add various details to make the result more interesting. I am not going to change the prompt, just adjust the sliders and see how the AI will modify the photo. As you can see, the image becomes smoother and sharper. We can also try the clear glasses option. Switch it to sunglasses and see what the AI generates this time. Here's the result. The photo details are even sharper now. Unfortunately though, the AI didn't remove my glasses or add sunglasses. Still, as a photo enhancement tool, this feature is pretty functional. The next feature is Train. This is where I can upload all my photos and train the AI to generate images with my face. The training process takes some time, so we just need to wait. You can see the progress displayed and once it's done, we'll have a fully trained generative model. Training is now 100% complete and we are ready to use it. We can use this feature with the Flux model, but only the first version of Flux since the others don't support it. Let's click on the image generator and under the Add Style button, we'll select the style we just created. I named it Daniel and with this slider, we can adjust how much the style influences the image we generate. For example, let's create an image of a person in a classic suit using this prompt and setting my style influence almost to the max. As you can see, Flux is generating the image and honestly the result is super realistic. It looks a lot like me. Let's try a few more styles with different prompts to see how it turns out. You can generate prompts using tools like ChatGPT or any other AI chatbot. As you can see, we've gotten some pretty decent results. Let's save one of these images and use it for future experiments with Crea. These are the kinds of photos you can create. Let's try something more relaxed, like a person enjoying some time in the mountains. The generated image does have a few flaws, but overall the results are quite realistic. For example, in this image, the expression is a bit off but the rest of the pictures look very lifelike. By training the model to recognize your face, you can create personalized photos using different prompts perfect for your social media or other projects. The last feature I want to show you is the editor. It's similar to Photoshop and lets you work with the specific areas of your images. For example, you can select an area and replace it using a prompt. Let's say you want to remove a chair and replace it with a sofa. You can also crop out objects. For instance, I could remove this plant from the photo. Additionally, you can add new images to the current photo Let's go ahead and generate what we requested. You can see the generator processes, the selected areas, darkens them and then makes the changes. Let's check out the final result.
the chair has been replaced with the sofa, but unfortunately the plant wasn't removed. Let's give it another try. The generator is constantly improving, so even if it focuses more on the background, around the plant, instead of the plant itself, it might not get it perfect yet. Still, you can see the potential of this Crea AI generator. Now let's try adding a car from one of the earlier generations and place it somewhere here. Let's see how the generator adapts the car to this photo. And here we can see how the car was added in a rather unusual way. It looks miniature, but the overall idea is clear. So that's how we explored the Crea AI image generator, which includes models like Flux and others. We were able to train the model on our own photo. And for now, you can only generate personalized images using Flux. Other models don't support it yet. Overall, it's a pretty good editor and photo enhancer. In general, it's a very cool and functional alternative to Midjourney. It's also a great replacement, offering its own educational resources to help you learn how to use this generator effectively. Final thoughts. So there you have it. I hope this video helped you get a better understanding of how Crea AI works and how you can make the most of its features. If you're excited to try it out or if you have already used it and have some thoughts to share, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear your experiences. Don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video helpful and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.